Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Call of Cthulhu. Uh, today we're going to start off by investigating the warehouse, the, the Hawkins warehouse. And we'll see if we can crack this case wide open. This is new. This is... That effect reminds me of cryostasis. There are hidden items here, too. Did I become a toddler? Oh, I was crouching. I started this off crouching. The glass is shattered, like someone smashed it. Was it before or after the removal of these bandages? Oh, I see Hush has been here. Is this my, like, detective vision where I'm... This is a, a visual representation of me mentally piecing the scene together? Who has enough money to buy painkillers, but stays in a place like this? Whoa, those are a lot of skeletons and entrails. It smells as bad as it looks. Well, that's why the place stinks. We have solved the mystery of the stinky warehouse. Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? I don't want to leave the reconstruction yet. See? What Damn is it, this video game? Of Charles and Sarah Hawkins doing here? Okay, I wish there was a zoom button. I have to crouch to get a closer look at it. That's not very hidden. Le Petit Parisian. Who might keep a news clipping about Sarah Hawkins? Apparently the Petit Parisian. There's a French newspaper here. Oh, that was the hidden item. Okay. Beers, we are done. New clue memorized. Okay, I'm curious. There's something new about dark water. Inhabitant Stephen Webster. Wealthy businessman, well-respected in the Boston area, Stephen Webster came to... Oh, hold on, I might sneeze. No, we're good. Uh, order I investigate the death of his only daughter, Sarah Hawkins. Man accepts neither refusals nor inconvenient truths. Let's see about Algernon. Do we have Algernon in here? Simon Hawkins? I think I said that with a G. Only son, Fitzroy... Roy Mitchell, the barkeep, Charles Hawkins, and Sarah. No Algernon. Was his last name Drake? The Stranded Whale on the Island of Darkwater, Darkwater Port, and the Occult. The Art of... That is that the Squid Man from uh, the, the opening dream sequence? Miraculous Catch. All of these things fall under the Occult. The new clue memorized. Officially unused since Charles Hawkins' death, this warehouse recently housed a clandestine resident. Signs of life attest to that fact. The presence of bloodstained bandages must also be noted, probably removed from a wound, as well as pills, painkillers, and sleeping pills. Moreover, the occupant seems to be obsessed with Sarah Hawkins, as attested by the presence of several documents connected to the artist's life, photographs, press cuttings, yeah, just very obsessive. Sort of a creepy stalker vibe. Uh, but it is the discovery of a partly charred painting recognized by Officer Bradley as having come from the Hawkins Mansion that allows all doubts to be lifted as to link as to the link between the contents of the building and the Hawkins case. And not too much else there. We do have points to distribute though. Uh, we have four CP available. What can we do with that? We could increase spot hidden again. It seems like it might be valuable. Or we could do psychology. We could do one or the other fully. You know what? This seems too valuable not to have. To have a little alert that says, hey, there's something that might be crucial. I'm going to quit without validating. No, I have to validate. Must always validate. Validate, you motherfucker. Yes. 
Yeah, that seems way too crucial an ability not to invest heavily into. And just because it's a Lovecraftian game does not mean everything has to give off an eerie green iridescent glow. Just everything does. Was that the officer and guarding the place? Is, oh shit. Has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Is there anyone in there? Why no, can I not hide? No. The Hawkins case has been wound up. Let the dead rest in peace. Never. You can't make me. This seems like a bad idea. I do wonder mm, how a strength route of this would go. Oh man, I had a chance to invest more in psychology too. Let's try it. You seem like a competent officer. We should help each other. You're trying to manipulate me, Mr. Pierce. I hate to be taken for a fool. All right, Inspector Lestrade. Let me take a more direct <laughs> approach. Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange poetry. Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene? Interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Oh, wait, Come the on. police are not in on it? The car's parked down the way. Or at least Andrew, not Bradley? Would you please shut the door? And open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. Oh, shit. God damn it. Her again. I'm surprised Bradley's cooperating like this. I do have one thing I want to bring this up after this conversation, to do though. With you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Why you? Come on, keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? Who the hell are you? What were you doing on my turf? I've got my eye on you. We'll meet again. Is okay, so Pierce, too Man. weak to threaten Bradley. Cat, she can do it like look behind with pizzazz. She got that flair. You see the building? That's the Hawkins mansion. Come on, we got some driving to do. Oh, we're just going to warp there. For the most part, via loading screen. Uh, chapter 3, Garden of the Honkins Mansion. Pierce managed to get into the warehouse. The place thought to be abandoned revealed some surprises, signs of recent occupation as well as partly charred painting. Interrupting his searching by Officer Bradley, Pierce convinced him to join his investigation. The police officer is, willingly, uh, is willing to drive the detective to the Hawkins Mansion. It was a nice quick loading screen. I am grateful for that. It's less pre-patch Bloodborne and more post-patch. Was he already cut by Cat? Look at that scar. Here we are, Hawkins Mansion. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. Yeah, I really want to know more about how you got that scar, though. Maybe he has, like, a dozen different Joker stories for that. Hell yes, by an expert. I see yeah. no scorched trees or fire damage on the building. You're pretty damn observant, ain't you? The fire was quickly contained. Old Silas acted as soon as he could. Not soon enough to save the Hawkins. They were trapped in the drawing room. And don't go troubling Silas anymore. His guilt torments him enough as it is. 
Are we gonna take a closer look at this mansion, or do you have other questions? No, I definitely have other questions, though. Uh, also, Silas is the one that the other guard in front of the warehouse told us about, if I remember right. Man, what an MVP of a skill that even gives me checks on dialogue. You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? Okay, now the question is, is he just playing along with, with my investigation until he can find enough information to shut someone up? Or to throw me off the trail? Or is he genuinely cooperating? Uh, also, the other the other thing that I wanted to point out before is we got the the dialogue in the clue about Bradley telling us the uh, the original whereabouts of the painting and how it was moved before we ever had a conversation with him. Yeah. Your partner Andrews warned me against him. You managed to get something out of that bum. I'll end up asking you for advice. He talks too much. He inferred that old Silas was. Slightly unhinged. That's not far off the mark, I suppose. But kind of unfair at the same time. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family. So he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? No, I, I absolutely still want to ask you more stuff. I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. It sounds Could like you're setting problem? me up for murder. Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee, if you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go, right? Pierce is a bit of a prick. Also, I guess if Bradley really wanted to off me, he could have just shot me in, in his patrol car and dumped me in a ditch on the side of the road up to the mansion. You won't get me to He's believe that it any better three months ago. It's a very old building, you know? Its foundations would probably date from the arrival of the first settlers. It's got nothing to do with Charles Hawkins' debts. Ha. Huh. You've already begun to nose around, it would seem. So, since you already know it, the Hawkins family couldn't afford the upkeep of this house. It remains to be seen what they did with all their money. I wager it was Charles Hawkins' travels. Let's go up there. Unless you still have questions. I'm guessing maybe Egypt? Nightfall. Saudi Arabia, something like and that. And I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you. If only to reassure Silas. <laughs> if, <laughs> if Charles Hawkins has an alias and it's Swami Chandra Putra and he found help. a silver key right. somewhere, I'm gonna Let's flip go. my goddamn shit. <laughs> oh, I really hope that he's he's just Swami Chandra Putra, complete with the mittens. Oh, I don't know if I should. Oh, yeah. This is definitely a dead end. There are two on the path that I could see. Oh, wait, maybe this doesn't dead end. Hold on. Uh, this looks to be the graveyard? I would think. Yeah, this doesn't actually go anywhere, so we'll check this first. And we haven't entered a radius with a hidden item yet, so... We still have that, that beacon off in the distance from the lighthouse, so... I'm expecting we'll go there eventually. Small wooden whale. Hard from wood. Toy that sailors made for children. Guess that's a new clue memorized. I was gonna say, I thought that was a collectible. In what way is this a clue? <laughs> Unless we're gonna find something similar elsewhere and it's... I don't know. Gonna connect some dots. 
I don't know what to make of that. In the context of the case. Oh yeah, no. Recently fallen. It's as if all life has abandoned the place. Yeah, we're not getting past that, so this is gonna wind up being the critical path down here. Who's this a statue of? I need to hold it down. Some Bradley bridge. was right. This place is much older than I imagined, but the architecture seems too recent. Like it's been renovated? Yeah. Okay. That's a little bit curious. Poor kid. Oh no, for real, Poor that's kid. it? Word? Okay. Poor woman. Oh no, this is an actual Someone investigation. Someone must really hate Charles Hawkins. Also, no. I told you. That's Charles's. <laughs> Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. I must say, it's pretty gloomy. So, detective, does this place inspire any thoughts? Hmm? Do you know if Charles Hawkins had any enemies? Not to our knowledge. He was a well-respected personality on the island. I don't understand. Silas would never have let such a thing happen. Why were they buried here? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. Strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Mrs. Hawkins' father? said that he's devastated. Let's go to the mansion. I was hoping there Oh, I thought Please he was floating away. I didn't expect to set foot back here after the burial. What kind of deranged individual would defile this sanctuary and steal a bird of flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh? Okay. Well, that would make sense. Yeah, that's... He was just about to say something about uh, desecrating the, the grave. Alright, we're good to go. Bradley. Wanna go, Bradley? Unless there's something else around? No. I think we're going up this way. This is an atmosphere I can really get down with. Hmm. It's suspicious that the game just saved. That really has, you know, have to find another entrance. in a very small way, uh, ruined modern horror games. Not ruined; it's tainted them a little bit. Certification has stricken them because that auto save icon, that little mandated auto save icon always uh, foreshadows something popping off. This entrance is still in use. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, hey, Silas. You are trying to force the door, you nosy prick! Easy, sir, all right? Put down the axe. You know what we do with rubble like you? We gut them! Dump them into the ocean! Whoa! Uh. Ah. You're Mr. Winchester. Lower that axe. Let's talk calmly. I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. Okay, this would be a... Gr Ooh, yeah. I guess this is the closest that we're actually going to get. Oh, you this time! You forgiven yourself. You stay here to honor the memory of the deceased. That's true. I want no more violence. No more tragedy. It's painful to be the last one left. You don't know how right you are. Understood. I'm listening. Hey, that worked. The police report describes a domestic accident. But Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. 
And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. He wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. No, I can't let you in. The mansion isn't safe. That's why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked. And I make sure it stays that way. Is it any less safe than trying to gut me with a hatchet, sir? We've been good on the checks so far. I was going to say, this this would be a really good time for a Deus Ex-style uh, dialogue boss battle. No one lives in the mansion, and you don't take care of it anymore. If you have a good reason to be here, I'm listening. There's vermin. I keep an eye out. Vermin? Yeah, that's it. Vermin. Right. Like rats this in the walls? Uh -huh. I go inside, and I promise that I'll hunt vermin. Okay with you? I'm not sure. If there's nothing else to fear, you can give me that key. Right. Take the key and do what you have to do. Go on, then. Just to get rid of you. What a mean Let's achievement. Let's see what more I can learn from this mansion. What a mean achievement that was. <laughs> oh, that went remarkably well. There can't be a fail state for that, right? Oh, hey, Bradley. What, what the is? F? Shall we enter? No. But, Bradley, where were you when I was getting accosted by an axe-wielding man? Dick. This gate is locked. Good observation, sir. Oh, there's gotta be some stuff. There's got to be some goodies. Show me goodies, please. Give me a raging clue, please. This is just carved to look like a fish or a gator, but probably a fish. Guess this is a shack. I know a thing or two about solitude myself. Rather Spartan. The caretaker has simple tastes. The poor wretch seems to spend the best part of his time isolated from the world. Come on! Oh, come on, let me in. He didn't remember to lock it. Is there another way in? Did I see an icon? Oh, oh come on. I have no hidden item or spot hidden item. Yeah, here we go. Can I climb in through the window? No. Do you see anything of interest here? What if I pull this out? I do not know what to do with this. With what I've done. Is that what what even was that for? Uh, okay. Maybe I'm setting something up for later. I'm I'm confused. I would love to take that axe with me. That would just be lovely. That would be perfect. Alright, we'll go back to Bradley and Silas. And uh Enter the Hawkins Mansion and actually examine the site of the fire, which allegedly yes. Shall we enter? killed Sarah. Now that you finish your fun and games with Silas, we can perhaps inspect the mansion. You're right. Let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's take a look inside. Is this going to be chapter four already? It is a new zone in Chapter 3, though. Pierce and Officer Bradley explored the gardens of the Hawkins Mansion. The family lies in the graveyard of the property, guarded by Silas Winchester. Uh, the old caretaker, still faithful to his employers, keeps watch on the place, armed with his axe. Pierce and Bradley manage to calm him down and finally got a hold of the key to the Hawkins Mansion. They enter the building, looking for the scene of the fire.
This loading bar is like the little engine that could. Come on, you can make it up that mountain. You can do it. I'm very proud of that loading screen. Follow me. It did it. I know the place. Who left this light on? I can't pull my lighter out. Hmm. Now I can. I'm gonna go back and oh. Well, it was nothing. And there were rats in the walls. Ha 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 ha. Very good. Jolly good. The last supper of the Hawkins. What does this tell me? Oh, another one of these, huh? There's some roast. What kind of meat is this? Oh, it's miraculous catch Cthulhu flesh. No hidden item this time. This place is for the head of the family, Charles Hawkins. Yeah, this is like my Sherlock vision. <laughs> ah. The boy was probably here. Smashed his plate on the floor. Hmm. You can surmise that a plate was smashed. Sarah Hawkins' plate. Why did she leave it untouched? Something happened at this table. An argument? I mean, some of this, like, all, all of the meat's pretty untouched. These, these seem like some wild conclusions to jump to. Hey, Pierce. Daydreaming again? Working, officer. This dinner table tells us a lot about the Hawkins family life. Well, we don't have all day. The scene of the fire is next door. Honestly, it looks very, like, almost Texas Chainsaw Massacre in here. Like a fancy Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> I think that's going to do it for now. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one.